Hey Heights Church, Becky Sweeney here for our Sum It Up devotional today, continuing on the thread, fan versus follower. We're looking at Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. We're in Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 through 37. It says, again, you've heard it said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot even make one hair white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. And so as we think about being a fan versus a follower, here we have some wonderful direction from Jesus about how to show ourselves to others as a true follower of Christ and reflecting his character in our speech. And we don't have to swear oaths or make promises we can let our yes be yes and our no be no. And that just simply means having integrity in our actions and in our speech. And you see, Jesus is talking about something that people were actually doing. They were making very elaborate oaths, but they were making them so elaborate that they were creating loopholes for themselves so they can slip out of what they actually said they would do. They would say like, oh, I, I swore by my head or I, I, I swore by the temple, but not the gold by the temple. And so there was this attitude of loopholes and not holding to what you say or saying something in a way that lets you get out of it. And so true to fashion, true to form, Jesus is looking at words and laws and he's saying, it's more than that, it's what's in here. It's if your motive is trying to skew the truth or give yourself an out or a way not to follow through, that's not good. Just simply let your yes be yes and your no be no. Have simple, transparent, straightforward speech and motives that match it. And those motives come from being a follower of Jesus. And the closer we walk with him, the more we walk with him, the more he affects even these things that seem like small little points but actually add up to a lifestyle that exemplifies Christ. And that's what we want to exemplify to our, our kids, coming through for our kids, not making promises we can't keep, coming through to our spouse, um, being reliable at work or with our family, not looking for ways to exit out of commitments, or being transparent about not being able to keep a commitment. Jesus is saying, let this be the theme of our life. The overall theme, arching theme of our life is integrity. Now that doesn't mean we're always perfect or that we don't always fall, that we don't have lapses because we're not robots. But as we move along in our faith with Christ, we, should be more and more in a line with a lifestyle of being integrous. And that way people will be able to say they truly are a follower of Jesus, not just a fan, not just in words only, but in their actions. All right, my friends, it was short but sweet. I miss you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.